Hi everyone, it's Ali here with more songwriting tips for you. Today I want to look at why being a beginner doesn't have to suck. I know a lot of the times when we're starting out a new skill, in this case songwriting, but the same applies for learning any new instrument too, it can often really suck being in that beginner phase, having to make all those really basic mistakes to improve and having that frustration of wanting to be able to write really great music or play the songs that we love and yet it can be really frustrating not being able to get anywhere near that standard to start with. So today I want to look at how we can avoid that, what we can do to help us get over that and so coming up are my top tips on why being a beginner doesn't have to suck. When learning a new skill, you always start from a place of incompetence. This is something that as adults tends to feel absolutely horrible, discourages us and just frankly makes us want to give up. I know that this is often due to having attained a high level of skills in other areas of our lives and having to go back to that level of being a beginner and not being able to do even the most basic things related to that skill can be incredibly frustrating. Whether this is learning an instrument or songwriting, it can often be a real struggle to have to take ourselves back to that beginner level and remember what it was like in other areas of our lives when we knew absolutely nothing about what we were learning. However, it doesn't need to be frustrating. I think if we can go back to that child mindset and really focus on just being a beginner, it can actually be an incredibly rewarding process. I can remember being six years old and learning to play the drums and I can remember that just being incredibly good fun, getting the drums out and bashing on them for ages. And although I had no idea what I was doing, and frankly it probably sounded horrible, and although I wasn't really practicing very well, didn't have the attention span I have now, wasn't practicing properly, I generally had a lot more fun than perhaps I do nowadays, where I can be really overly critical when I practice, and I can spend far too much time just practicing and trying to get better, rather than just having fun. When we're kids, everything we do is just about having fun. It's why we just have so much more enjoyment of being kids. It's why we pick things up so quickly. We tend to be much more inquisitive and we tend to have much more fun just trying things out, trying things new, not worrying about what mistakes we might be making. But as we get older, this tends to get more and more difficult. We start to look at things in a much more critical way. And there's a good side to this, being critical of ourselves, or at least in a constructive way, can be extremely helpful and help us to improve a lot quicker. Looking at, as we play an instrument, you know, what makes us sound good compared to everyone else? Why do people sound better than us? What are they doing that we're not? These can all be really helpful things to learn, but it can mean we often put ourselves down and get very frustrated by comparing ourselves to other people. So first off, the thing we must do is trying to get back to that childlike mindset, just enjoying the process of being a beginner. The next thing we need to do is to stop comparing ourselves to other people. Like I say, although it's good to take constructive criticism either from other people or critique our own stuff and look at what makes it good and what makes it bad, if we compare ourselves too much to other people, it can be extremely frustrating and we'll find that it really stops us wanting to uh, practice and to learn and it really demotivates us and makes us incredibly fed up of the learning process and makes being a beginner incredibly difficult. We must remember that it's good to be a beginner. Although it might be frustrating learning new things that we don't understand, if we're really going to improve and to learn, we must practice things that we can't do. As a beginner, this is something that everything we learn is going to be new and so therefore it can be a bit more frustrating. But if we take away that expectation, those unrealistic expectations we might put on ourselves, the whole process can be incredibly rewarding. As children, everything we do is exciting. And that's because everything we're doing is new. Every time we learn something on an instrument as a child, uh, we often don't have that frustration of wanting to get to 
a certain level. Even though we've heard music by people we might love, we're not always so uh, concerned about getting to that high level as quickly as possible. We tend to just enjoy every new note that we learn, every little thing that we come across on the instrument it tends to be exciting. The same should be true for songwriting. As we learn, every little thing we come across should be exciting and new for us. We should really enjoy the process of putting out our ideas and writing those down, creating songs out of the things we're experiencing. If we can keep that childlike mindset and not concern ourselves too much with our unrealistic expectations, we should find the songwriting process much more enjoyable. As a beginner songwriter, you must have patience. I know this is really hard to do. We often want to get to that level of songwriting we set ourselves as quickly as possible. But we really need to be patient with ourselves and realise that the things we write now are going to really be embarrassing to us in the future. We're going to improve a lot over a short space of time, at least in the grand scheme of things. The songs you write now, a year later, they'll be incredibly basic and rubbish compared to what you can write that year later and we'll probably be embarrassed by those efforts. But we need to have patience to give ourselves that time. A year, although in the grand scheme of things isn't very long, it can feel like quite a long time as we're writing day by day. But you must give yourselves that time to really work and hone your skill. There's a quote by Reid Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn, that I really like. He said, If you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product, then you launched too late. I think if we think of our products as our songs, if in a year's time we look back at the songs we write now, or two years' time look at back at the songs that we're writing now as a beginner, we're going to be really embarrassed by those efforts. They're going to be really rubbish. But those efforts and those initial ideas that we write down, looking at those and looking at how we can improve on those are what enable us to be the songwriter that we are a year later, two years later. We need to really value those songs, those initial ideas, and we need to make the time to really sit and write them. We need to write those songs to really get good as songwriters to increase our skill level so that later on that we can write the level of songs that we really aspire to. If you're a perfectionist like me, you're going to find this aspect of songwriting really, really hard. I know uh, for me, I often have a vision of what I want my uh, songs to sound like. You can hear that idea in your head already as you start writing it. And if you can't get there yet with the skill level you have, you're going to find it really frustrating. You really need to stop worrying about that. That kind of level of perfection is never going to be something that you're actually going to hit. Because all that's going to happen is the ideas you hear in your head are going to get better and better, while our skill level is always going to probably be that bit behind. And so we're never going to be able to really hit the level of perfection that we're striving for. But that's okay. It's okay to not be quite at that level. The ideas we're going to come out with still will be extremely good. And if we keep going with them, we will keep upping that level of skill each time. And the songs we get will get closer and closer to what we hear in our head. Again, we're never going to get there. So you just need to actually focus on putting out what you can do at the time with the skill level you have not focus too much on it not being that perfect version that you heard in your head. So my last tip is to team up with another beginner songwriter. If you can find someone else who's at a similar level to you, it can really help to make the songwriting process a lot more enjoyable. This way, when you kind of struggle with the songwriting process, when you're getting a bit frustrated, you can have someone else to encourage you and you can also encourage them when they struggle too. This will make the whole thing a lot easier, a lot more enjoyable and help you avoid the kind of frustration of not being at that level that you, perhaps you're striving for quite yet. You can also learn from each other's strengths and weaknesses where there might be things you struggle with a bit more. Perhaps your lyrics are a bit weaker than theirs. They can help you to kind of improve your lyrics a lot faster than if you were to just work on your own or just learn from kind of YouTube videos and that kind of thing. Having someone to actually work alongside you and give you suggestions as you write can be incredibly helpful and help you to develop a lot quicker. So that's it for today's video. If you use these tips, you'll find that being a beginner doesn't have to suck. It will really help make the process of songwriting so much more enjoyable. 
If you haven't done already, please like and subscribe below and I'll see you again in the next video.